So, got this old school antenna rotator that was frozen. So I took in, um, actually, the motor is right back there. Little tiny pancake motor. It was frozen. I gave it a wrap on its, uh, its main, uh, I guess you'd call it an axle. I don't know. We had the, the center pin on it, which freed it up and then worked it for a while. Put some uh, beautiful WD-40 on it. And now it's free. Here's the controller I just got from eBay. I'll show you the way this thing works. Um, at normally, I, I got it all apart, but there is running off of this is a, a worm gear. And then there's another cyclical gear, I guess you would call it. It, it has a single, it, it's a cam, basically. It has a little bump. It goes along and hits this reed switch, and that tells it that it's made it that far around. Tells the box, which uh, pops a solenoid, and then it uh, it moves uh, however many degrees that is. So I'll show you what's up. I'll rotate this. Let's see. get all the way back around and so when that thing would hit these it comes all the way back around and that stops the motor that's how this works that little tiny motor. That's amazing. Okay, a little further along in the assembly. Um, this is, right here is that cam I was telling you about. This is the worm gear that drives the main antenna shaft. And you can see that cam go into action. I'll crank this guy around. And there she is in full rotation. See how the worm gear runs the, uh, the main uh, antenna rotator and a little cam hitting a reed valve or reed uh, switch. Pretty cool. It's amazing how genius these simple machines were.